right, boys. Let's get going. KP is still KP. Do you know what KP stands for? Keep peeling. That is correct. You're a smart man. That machine here, which you two will have the honor of cleaning, can prepare a full meal for over a hundred men in less than an hour. Do you believe that? Yeah. You do? I don't. When I was on TV, did you know I was on TV? Nope. Me neither. <laughs> no, no, not really. I was on TV. I had my own TV show. I was a star. I was. Do you believe that? Um, well, yeah, yeah, sure. I was. I was the star. Interactive Channel 37. Four and a half years I was on that damn show. It was great. I loved it. I had a lot of fans. Lots of cars, booze, house in the Bahamas. A lot of women fans. I just love the way you flip great. You believe that? No. Hey. Watch it. All right, boys. Clean her up good. Hey, man, can I talk to you? Yeah, sure, what's up? I don't know what's going on around here, but this stuff they're shoveling ain't going down with just one swallow. What are you talking about? This BS about the mining operation. You have any idea how much of this stuff it take to have any effect on the atmosphere? Hey, it makes sense to me. I thought it was all part of their plan. I was talking to a mechanic yesterday. There's only one mechanic here. In the whole damn motor pool, there's only one mechanic. They're gonna dig up enough of this ore to affect the entire planet and there's only one mechanic here? Come on! It's some bogus sci-fi cheese fest, maybe, but Jesus, I mean, this is reality, man, and there's no way they're gonna dig up enough rock to make this scheme of theirs work. Yeah, you know, you're right. That really doesn't make much sense. Yeah, it makes less than no sense. Well, what about this? What about the VR displays they're using? I've used those cerebral cortex coils before. That is scary shit, man. When I was in Belgium, I don't know. I could swear the VR was... not accurate. I still don't know what the hell I was shooting at. I give you a drug. Addiction is a very real threat. Man, Jesus, listen to you. You sound paranoid. There's no drug. All right, man, whatever. A couple of days, you'll stop dreaming. Then you'll believe me. All right, soldier, you may put on a robe. They're in the alcove. Oof, damn. Maybe I should mention I was a medical student. Um, you want me to take my clothes off? Yes. Is there a problem? Uh, well, no. No, it's, it's just right here. No, soldier, you may use the examining room. Oh, oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> what a hayseed. Of course. Privacy, bay two. All right, soldier, what's your name? Uh, Griffin. Andrew Griffin. Marine status on Griffin? He needs to be looked at. Do you have that entire list memorized? There are only 12 of them. It ain't brain surgery. Good thing for you. Get a robe.
animalistic. I hate that, Drew, and I, I hate that game, and I hate the fact that you watch it. The whole thing was bad enough before, but now they added all of these new rules. It's pathetic, and you know what makes it more pathetic? Is all of these people are starting to flock to it. Jenny, calm down. It's just a game. This is not a game. Damn it, that's my point. You know what I did on my ship last night? I helped the doctor put 17 staples into a six-year-old skull. You know what happened? His 14-year-old brother hit him with a football stick. We're learning how to be doctors, Drew. You and I are learning how to save people. But we live in a society built on violence. And it hurts me to see you become a confidant. Oh, that color looks nice on you. You think so? I thought I kind of washed. That must be a Jensen Ultra. Uh. Uh. Bedside manner can be very important. Uh. Well, I don't see any redness or uh. feel any swelling. There's nothing wrong with that guy. How long has it been bothering you? What? I said, how long has it been bothering you? Uh, a, a couple of days. Uh, What's your first name? Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, I just can't see anything. Is it really bad? Yeah, it, it's kind of bad. Oh. Yeah, I hear you're from San Diego. You do, do you? Yeah. And where are you from? Tucson. Mm. Any other symptoms? No, no, just the throat. Ears bothering you? Mm, no. I have an aunt in San Diego. Oh, you do, do you? Yeah. Well, I think that we should get together sometime and you can tell me all about that. Really? Oh, I I'd like that. I bet. Marie, would you come in here for a moment, please? Listen, about your sore throat. Oh, it, it feels better already. I am sure it does, but just to be safe. Marie, 500 units of B12, please. I uh, think you're going to need a shot. Oh, man, not, not a shot. Yeah. I, I hate shots. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I think you're going to need a shot. A really big shot. Oh. Bend over, Buttercup. Privacy, Bay 3. Hi, I'm Dr. Mirren. Griffin, right? Yes. How do you feel, Andrew? Uh, well, I've been kind of tired lately. Yeah, it's probably just the gate lag, as we call it around here. Let me take a quick scan. Okay. Okay. You're all done. Was that a Jensen Ultra? Yeah. It's nice, isn't it? You were in med school, weren't you? Yeah. You want to be a neurosurgeon? Third year. UT, right? Yeah. Ah, oh, it's a good school. Now how'd she know that? I guess she... A little lunch will probably make you feel a whole lot better. It's just a lag. Listen, if you don't feel better by this afternoon, come see me again. who I am anymore. We have a job, a very important job, a job our futures depend on. How do we know what we're doing is right? Beth, we've been through this before. What do you want to do, drag 12 billion people through the... Dismissed, soldier. Hey, 
how's it going? Good. Hey, have we met before? Have we? You know, he looks... Uh, but not, but not. Ah, sure, sure we have on a transport flight to Fort Chicago. Yeah, you... I flew into Chicago just before she... We're going into basic, right. With that uh, psycho friend of yours with the... Uh, ah, what was wrong with him? He broke his nose, didn't he? Yeah. He did break his nose. <laughs> broke the other guy's arm. Yeah, you were flying in from... Uh, what? California. Yeah. Yeah. What's your name? Griffin? Right! Griffin, hey, good to see you again! How you been? Oh, what was that guy's name? What, what guy? Ah, uh, with a broken nose. Uh, Michaels. Yeah. So? So are dogs. <laughs> right, right! Yeah, yeah, Michaels. That's right. Hey, hey, come here. Look at this. You know what that is? No, I don't. That's a hell of a memory you got. <laughs> That's a curse. This is a lava lamp. A lava lamp? Yeah, you know, this thing is nearly a uh, hundred years old. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, it's amazing the things they used to do. This ran on alternating current electricity. Yeah, huge voltages. There was enough wind running through this thing to kill a man. I'm restoring it. It's kind of a hobby. I'm afraid the... Uh, liquid part congealed a long time ago. I'm not exactly sure what it was they used, so I'm going to have to do a little experimenting to figure out what it was. I think this is based on glycerin. Anyway, name's John. Nice to see you again. Yeah, it's nice to see you. Hey, huh? what? Well, you know, uh, working on... Ah, shit. No, I don't care. I got nothing else to do. <laughs> oh, hey, listen, I... You better skedaddle. Yeah, you're not supposed to be back here. Off limits. Uh, right. Okay, uh, well, bye, Jim. Yeah, bye. See you. Time for Lights Out. Lights Out, Phoenix Company. I hope you all get a good night's sleep. Time for Lights Out. Lights Out, Phoenix Company. I hope you all get a good night's sleep. of our race is at stake here. Exposure to the atmosphere of 3905. All aspects of this operation are being governed by the International Indentured Forces Act. To give you a drug, a couple days you'll stop drinking. A couple days you'll stop drinking. A couple days you'll stop drinking. Good morning. Please report to the mess hall for breakfast.
Hi, it's me. Listen, I'm sorry about my letter to you yesterday. I didn't mean to upset you like that. They tell you that you're supposed to know what you're going to say before you start recording. I swear, no matter how hard I try, I just can't seem to do that. It all makes sense before I start, and I don't remember. So, anyway, I'm sorry about yesterday. It was your father's birthday, or it would have been, and I was just upset about that. <sighs> He's gone, Andrew. He would have been so proud of you, Drew. Please come home to me safe and sound. You're all I have left. Your father's gone. Your sister's working for that damn lab. Please. I need for you to come home to me. The other day I was watching the news and there was this uh, explosion. Please report to the mess hall for breakfast. Please report to the mess hall for breakfast. Hi, welcome to the mess hall. The 24 hour special is PB and J with a crust cut off. Better than mom made. Oh, your mom didn't cook much. Excuse me, do you mind if I sit here? No, no, please, help you talk. Hi, I'm Elizabeth. Hi, I'm Andrew. Griffin, yes, I know. Don't you go by train? Yes, I do. It was nice to meet you, Trey. It's nice to meet you, Dr. Marks. Oh, please, call me Elizabeth. Everybody else does. I don't really care for all the formalities. Can I ask you something? Sure. Why did you leave medical school? Wow. Well, that's direct. It's a very good thing to be a doctor, too. Nothing personal, but there's a bit of a difference between a medical doctor and a PhD. You're right. Do you know what? So it's okay. Well, really? Yes, I was a pediatrician. Did you like them? Yes, very much. Those little round heads, those little hands. Yes, I loved it very much. So where did you stop? A little girl died. Someone I got too close to. Oh God, I had a dream about her last night. What thing? Are you okay? I have a family on earth. 
a large family. My mum, my dad, my sisters, and my little girl. Oh, yeah. I, um, thank God you're going to have a chance to help them. Do you believe in karma? Do you believe we pay for our sins? I mean, we believe that murder is the worst possible crime a man could commit. We killed our mother. Who, who judges us? I mean, am I doing the right thing? Maybe death is the price for our sins. But can a whole race of people sin? And what about all the babies and the children? Uh, hi, Elizabeth. Do you need somebody to talk to? No, Charlie. Thank you, that's very kind of you, but I need to get back to the lab. Goodbye. Thanks for listening. That was uncalled for. I think she must be Dr. Marx's. Put them on the desk there. Thank you. What's she talking about? I beg your pardon. Put them on the desk. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what you're talking about. What? I'm sorry. I thought you were. I'm sorry. May I help you? No, I'm just looking around. I'm sorry. You are not allowed to be in here. This is a respective. You needed to go. All right, calm down. Access denied. Access denied. Level 1 alert. Rescue Team A report immediately to the egress chamber. Andrews, Cranshaw, Griffin and Hawkins report immediately to the egress chamber. What's going on?
Listen up. A survey team has been attacked on sector A12. The skiver's down and we have fatalities. It looks like we're dealing with a new type of bug, and these fly. Now, we're downloading the flight recorder playback simulation now. Now, we're going to need first aid kit, O2 wraps, and body bags. Sergeant, who's your best driver? Griffin, you got the bubble on this one. Christ, I do not feel up to this. I need a wireframe. Damn, they would be on the other side of the island. We'll skirt the fault line and then crank up the sensors when we hit the south parameter B12. What are they doing way over there? Playback ready. Man, I do not want to watch this. Damn it, we're losing two of them. Lost pillow? Everybody, full side arms, lock and load. Mr. Griffin, we need you at the helm, please. Mr. Griffin, these things brought down a skiver. Now set no shit they brought down a skiver. The gyro sensitivity to a minimum. Hawkins, you're an auxiliary. Hey, no problem. Thank God it's Hawkins. Outrigger attached, skiver ready to depart. The PAI has calculated an optimal flight plan. It is logged and approved. You have a two kilometer variance zone. Alien proximity unacceptable. I have a lock on Dr. Mark Skiver, setting down ACAP. I show three fatalities, an injury, and a clean survive. The injury and the survive are in the Skiver's EO2 station. Griffin, you stay on the cannon. Let's go, Hawkins. I'll take the living, you take the dead. I've got the two live ones. Alvarez's suit is breached, but it looks patchable. A second tier patch may prove sufficient. I'm seeing two DOA. No sign of Dr. Mark. I am experiencing some interference with the location of Dr. Marks' body. I will continue filtering for location. VR feed will occur if I'm successful. In the meantime, please recover the locatable bodies. Uh. Get him down. Easy, easy. Dave, give him a stat scan. Watch his head. I'll get that helmet. Damn it, you bastard! Did you know about the SD devices? Get off me! Michael, step down! Look, those men were euthanized! You killed them! This man needs medical help now! If you don't want to kill him, you'll back off! I said step down! Jesus, all right, let go of me! Self-destruct? They put self- Blood loss, shock. The wound is just below the fourth rib, on the left. Recommend 100 cc's meta-alkaloid. Can I get some medicine here, please? I said all right, goddammit, will you let go? Very odd. It seems to have been made by a steel instrument of some sort. Look, Alonzo and Tish were euthanized. The bugs didn't kill him, the UN did. Now why weren't we told? The, the surface of this rock is highly toxic. Now do you have any idea what lithium chloride does to a man? It was standard procedure. If it weren't for the SD, those men would still be in agony. Or would you rather have seen that? Hey, screw you, man. You could have told us. You don't go putting self-destruct devices on Envivo suits without telling people. Look, why don't you just get... Look, look, screw this! I'm not fighting, all right? When I get back to the base, every swinging Dick and Jane on the base is gonna know about it. This is gonna make Rangoon look like a friggin' lady. You, Mr. Michaels, are in breach of contract. And I'm afraid I'm gonna have to put you on notice. Jesus Christ, for real? You for real? Jesus, Sarge. Mr. Michaels, Beatrice International is hereby notifying you that you were in breach of your employment contract. Please do not call me by my first name. Notice is duly received. I am obligated to inform you that your contract is currently being interpreted under the Indentured Forces Act. Failure to cure this breach could result in substantial penalties. I take your meaning. 
Maria. Nicely done, Sergeant. Mr. Griffin, get us home, please. Now, can we get the hell out of here? Bodies are in the hold. <laughs> I think Saunders is expecting you. Procedural manuals are quite plain in this regard. Oh, man. Oh, oh, will you? I'm telling you, the doc ran off. She did not become bug food in that race. Michaels, what a charmer. Colonel, the mission data transmission packet yeah, under nine. And the lieutenant, the con. I don't know what the pack train said, but I was there. And I'm telling you, that Dr. Marx took a walk. Lieutenant Andrews, how much oxygen did Dr. Marx have remaining at the time of the ambush? Pactran indicates her O2 supply was at 87%. And how long might a person of Dr. Mark's size survive with 87% oxygen? Four, four and a half hours. Begin an immediate search within a 12-mile radius of the ambush site. <sighs> Sir, I must protest that this man is not a reliable source of information. Mr. Michael's opinions have nothing to do with my decision, Lieutenant. Dr. Marks is a critic. Colonel, critic. we have already lost a skipper to this new bug type. Now, the odds of us... Lieutenant, according to my calculations, Dr. Marx has only two hours of oxygen remaining. You will commence an immediate search, concluding only with either the return of the doctor herself or her remains. Am I understood? Sir, I would like to protest... Your yes, protests sir. have been duly noted. Put the base on full alert. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Dismissed. Mr. Griffin, might I speak to you for a moment? What does he want? Uh, yes, sir. Certainly, sir. Mr. Griffin, you go by Drew, don't you? Why does everyone keep asking? Sir, do you mind if I call you Drew? Damn. What do I tell him? No, sir. Not at all. Good. I have a cousin named Drew. Listen, I know that you and Michaels are friends. Oh, great. Just what I need. Excuse me, sir. I've only known him since... We're very concerned about Private Michael's mental state. We have reason to believe that he may be unbalanced. Yeah, no kidding. What was your first clue? There's even some evidence to suggest that he may have contributed in some way to the skiver crash. I want to ask a favor of you. A favor? What's that, sir? I want you to keep an eye on Mr. Michaels. If he does or says anything strange, please let me know about it. I do not believe this. Yes, sir, I will. Good. If he does or says anything out of the ordinary, just let me know about it, won't you? Uh, yes, sir. Certainly, sir. Private, I want to warn you that Dr. Marin thinks the man may be a schizophrenic. Schizophrenic? Marvel. I believe he's a subversive. Either way, he may prove to be very dangerous. I ask you to please be careful. Drew, thanks very much. I want to thank you for your assistance. It will be reflected in your service record. Dismissed. Can I trust this bastard or not?
Hey, that's a book. I love books. This is not just a book. This is not just any book. This is a book of thought and love and emotion. I pour myself into it always, every day. But it doesn't do any good. She doesn't care. All she loves is rank. She'll get hurt, though. I have plans. Uh, hi, excuse me. Um, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry about what happened the other day. Oh, that's okay. You should be very careful about where you're going. Time for Lights Out. Lights Out, Phoenix Company. I hope you all get a good night's sleep. Time for Lights Out. Lights Out, Phoenix Company. I hope you all get a good night's sleep. Do you have any idea what lithium chloride does to a man? I need for you to come home. Dr. Marx took a walk. Everywhere, man. We're very concerned about Private Michael's mental Dr. State. Marx took a walk. Yes, yes, I will. Hey, Griffey, come on. Wake up. Time to go. Hey, hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? Man, keep your voice down. Look, under the International Information Act, you have a right to access your personal file at any time. So we're going to have a little chat with the beast, all right? Hello, Privates Michaels and Griffin. How may I assist you? Ask for access to your personal file. Uh, may I have access to my personal records, please? Medical record. Search medications, please. Read line three. 300 cc's myodon and nitrate. Delivered daily. Close file. Open my personal file, please. Search medications. Read line five. 300 cc's myodon and nitrate. Delivered daily. You taking any medication? No. Me neither. Probably delivering it in the water supply. You believe me now? Yeah. Yeah, I do. But what? Probably not much. Hold on to the antidote I gave you. We'll decide when the time is right. But be careful, though. Mr. Griffin! Griffin! Wake up, soldier! You need it in the briefing room immediately. Don't go back to sleep. Yes, Sergeant. Good. Get down there as soon as you can.
Can I have your attention, please? Colonel Saunders? Yesterday, a survey flight led by Dr. Marks was attacked. I don't think the colonel... And the skipper was brought down. There have been two fatalities. Dr. Marks is missing. Dave, model display, please. Playback ready. We have a new bug type. This is the ComGem model from the VR mission recorders. This new class is considered very dangerous. The added mobility is obviously a factor as well. The VRDB has been updated with this new modeling data, so your heads-up displays will now reflect the proper image. These new bugs have been rated 89A for combat efficiency. 89A? Gee. New directives from ComSend state, no skipper deployment when bug type F1 combatants are present. And finally, there have been some reports of VR display malfunction. Seems some bugs are being shown as humanoids. So everyone, please review your online manuals on EnviroSuit procedures and VR error addressing. That, ladies and gentlemen, will be all. Mr. Griffin, you please be so kind as to join me in my quarters. does he really know? Has Michaels ever led you to believe that there might be a problem with the VR argumentation? Yes, sir, he did. That sounds about right. Did he try and convince you that the UN is lying about the nature of our mission here? I don't believe this. Is he just guessing? Yes, sir, he did. What did he say? He said that there was no way we could know. You realize why is he so upset? I had better be very careful. They do not screw around with you, won't you? Oh, yes, of course, sir. What were you and he doing in the med lab last night? Jesus Christ, how does he know? Ugh, bastard. He was trying to convince me about the... What? What VR drug? He was trying to tell me that there... Oh my goodness. I was afraid of that. The man's deluded. All right. Thank you, Private. That's all. You're dismissed. Silent night, a shroud, a oh, Christ. I hope I did the right thing. If Saunders thinks I'm lying, I'm done for. God only knows what that damn Michaels has been up to. That son of a bitch is crazy. I never should have gotten mixed up with him. Damn it. What the hell am I going to do? What's Saunders up to anyway? Don't talk to Michaels. The crazy bastard owes me. Maybe I can get him to convince the Colonel that I didn't really have anything to do with all this. You better help me out of this or I'm gonna kick his ass. Where is he? Michaels! He's in his room. Oh, he's gonna chase him all over the face. Michaels! It's been deleted. Jesus Christ, they, they, I don't believe this, they killed him? God damn it, they can't do that, what are they doing, they can't do that, oh man, oh, I'm probably
probably next. What am I gonna do? I better do something about those pills. If they find them in my room, I'm dead. Mail is waiting for you. Oh, great. I'm sure this is Jenny. Hi, Drew. How are you? I hope that you're doing well. I'm doing good. Or all good here. I... I miss you. I, um... I'm worried about you. I hope that you're okay. They won't tell us anything, you know, where you are. My therapist, Barbara, says that it's either Chile or Budapest. I try not to think about it very much, <laughs> but I don't have very much luck. I, you're on my mind all the time, as a matter of fact. But you don't have that problem. <laughs> I still don't know what happened to me. I don't know what happened to us. I want you to know that I don't blame you. And I wish that you don't blame yourself. You know, <laughs> sometimes shit just happens. Your mom is really worried, but I'm doing my best to make her feel better. I know that we can never be together after this, but that doesn't mean that you can't come back and pick things up again. And I'm not saying that for you. Uh, I'm saying it for your mom and for me. It would help me a lot if you would come back home and start school again. I'm, I'm going to in a, a year or so. So, who knows? Maybe I'll run into you on campus. I love you. I love you very much. And I'm gonna miss you. Goodbye, Drew. Could you um, turn off the tape? I'm finished. Great. Now what am If Saunders catches me... Three hundred cc's myodon and nitrate. Killed mother. Delivered daily. We've killed her. <laughs> I want to create. I want that. We have a new bug type. I want to have a baby. Dr. Marx took a walk. All aspects of this operation are being governed. Jenny. By the international Keep trying to convince you that the UN is lying. Please don't ever leave me. I can't be without you. What the hell is going on? What is that sound? Level 1 alert. All combat troops to the egress chamber. Oh Jesus. Level one alert. Oh Jesus, there's a raid. All able bodied troops oh, to the egress chamber. Oh, I do not want to go. Full scale this. assault Christ. in progress. Oh Jesus. All these combat new bugs. troops to the egress chamber immediately. Oh damn it. Oh, oh I'm scared. I wish Michaels was here. Oh damn. Oh Jimmy, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I deserve this. I know I deserve this. I never should have come here. I'm so scared. Chamber ready for decompression. Please don VR helmet and activate Enviro suit. Griffin T zero. Griffin T two. <coughs> 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 Oh, my God.
zero fire. 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 Griffin T one six. Fire. Fire. Viro suit has been breached. Oh shit! Oh shit! I've been hit. Prior to euthanization, oh, shit, your no. employment contract entitles you to make peace with the universe and/or God, as you perceive He, She, or It to be. No, no. Please choose the last rites appropriate for your beliefs. I'm sorry, we are currently unable to process your request. Oh, thank God. Euthanasia will occur in 15 seconds. Oh no! No, no, uh, five, no, no, turn it off, no, god damn it, no, oh, I don't want to die, turn this thing off, get me out of here, I don't want to die, stop it, stop it, no, no! Oh my god, Michaels was right, they're human.